so much drama in the LBC. It's kind of hard being Snoop D O double G, but I somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass hits like every single day. May I kick a little something for the G's and make a few ends as I So, you have three ways to try Librem 5. First, you can buy it. I get to you anything, my friend, if it makes you feel alright. I don't care too much for money. I know, $700 is a ridiculous price. It feels like you're buying nothing important. What you can do, is to buy a Librem 15-2, and complete the full set. I will customize a few options here, and you will see why this laptop is called Librem 15. Because it is 3 times the price of Librem 5. I believe $4000 for a phone, have some dignity and it will make you feel like you did something important. Your next option is to build it from sources, and you only need 3 modules to get started. First, you need FOSH, which is Librem 5 shell, and it is completely written on GTK, even if it looks too cool for GTK 3. Speaking of which, the estimated date for GTK 4 release is in fall 2020. Oh, and of course, together with FOSH you also need all dependencies, like Live Handy, and pretty much the full GNOME stack. The second thing you need is a squeak board, that is the Librem 5 virtual keyboard, and obviously it is written also on GTK. And the third and final thing you need, is the compositor. It is called Vok, and it is based on Wayland Roots, a modular compositor library, for building Wayland compositors, like Vok I guess. That's what I'm using on my Librem 5 videos, and it goes something like that. And your third and final choice, is to get Librem 5 on a virtual box. Which is also what I'm doing, because I want to see the default options, the pre-installed apps, and all those. So, go to Purism Build Server. And from the left column find a build that offers a quick emulator image. Click on it, and then download the cow 2 file, which is 2 gigs, because every Linux today is 2 gigs. It is like a standard. Next open Virtual Manager, and by the way, it will work with Flatpak GNOME boxes too, which is kinda easier to set up. Anyway, create a new machine, and select Import Existing Disk Image. On Architecture leave the 64-bit. Then select the cow file you downloaded before. Set the operating system to Debian which is what Librem 5 is based on, similar to Pure OS. Increase memory a bit. Set a more meaningful name. You can customize some options now, or later, but it works fine as it is, so I won't change anything here. And finish. This image doesn't need installation, it is pre-installed, and it is ready to start trying it. Your password is, 123456, and by the way, there is a known issue with the mouse, that we need to click a bit on bottom and right, than what the actual pointer shows, which makes it kinda hard to use it. Those screens are from GNOME Initial Setup and have been also ported on adaptive mode for Librem 5. Now you're inside a Linux phone. And the first thing you need to do, is to open a terminal. Hashtag sarcasm. If you check your partitions, 
you'll see you have only a 3.3GB disk space, and only 600MB left. You just need to resize the partition to fold disk space. So, sudo, resize to fs, and the name of the partition, in this case dev slash vda2. Now if you recheck your partitions, you will see that you have software updates available. Hashtag sarcasm2. So, you now have 30 gigabytes, and enough free space to make your first update. And this time I will update from GNOME software, like a baby boss, that on Librem 5 is patched with libhandy. By the way you can update from terminal with sudo apt update, and sudo apt upgrade, but apt reminds me canonical, so f*** it! Hashtag fuck it! I bet not many people have seen this, but is the offline updating from GNOME software. Anyway, that was all. You can keep that virtual machine, keep doing updates and checking on what's new, and if you like what you see, just buy the device. And by the time Librem 5 has been shipped to you, I will probably manage to log in. Hashtag Hentai is following. Just shake that ass.